We're doing the last part of this question, which is part D. And um, what, what we want to see is if we place um, another capacitor in series with 5. So we're going to draw this again, and we're going to have... So this is C1 is 1, C2 and 3 together is 1, this is uh, C4 is 4, and then 5, we're going to have two fives. Oops. So this is 5 and 5. So we kind of want to do the same thing that we did before, where we want to combine these. So to find the equivalent, so we want to go to something that looks like this. All right, so we want to find the equivalent of um, the 5 and the 5. That's pretty easy. So we're going to have um, the equivalent capacitance. So we're going to have uh, this one is going to be, this one right here is going to be, 1 over CEQ is equal to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5, which is equal to 2 over 5. And so then when we flip it, this becomes 5 over 2. So to find that equivalent, all of these together, we're going to say, I just add them together. We've got 1, 1, 4, and 5 over 2. So that's going to be CEQ for all of them together is going to be, um, so this is equal to 2 and a half. So we're going to have 6 plus 2.5 is 8.5, and that's microfarads. So that gives us D. Um, if we wanted to do the bonus, uh, the bonus, I wrote that down somewhere, which I can't find. Uh, I'm not really sure, but... All you would need to do is, um, uh, so if all the capacitors are changed to have a dielectric material between the conductors with a dielectric constant, so the new circuit of um, K over 2, oh, there it is. So I'm going to have, um, what would the new total energy stored in the capacitor be? Well, I can do that by, so this is bonus. I can say U is equal to 1 half C times V squared. But now C is actually, since we now have a dielectric constant, and since they're all the same, the dielectric constant for all of them is the same, then we can just say this is going to be K times C0. So this is the capacitance with nothing inside the capacitors, and this is adding a, a dielectric. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, 1 half times 2 times the total capacitance is 8.5 microfarads, and then 10 squared, right? So I've got 10, 10 squared times 100 uh, volts. So I'm going to end up with 850 uh, microjoules.